Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the problem on simple machines. For that, here is a question. Now, whatever is given in this question, I will write that in the form of data. In a machine, a load of 500 Newton, load is denoted by W, so that is 500 Newton given, is lifted by an effort of 50 Newton effort is denoted by capital P and another load of 750 Newton so another load is given I'll give the notation this is W1 and here we have W2 was lifted by an effort of 60 Newton so this is P1 another effort is 60 Newton then obtain the law of machine so here we have to find out the law of machine and if vr is 40 that is the velocity ratio is given as 40 find the maximum efficiency we have to calculate the maximum efficiency for the given machine now this is the data in front of us so into the solution part we are going to form the law of machine so starting with that Since the law of machine is given by P is equal to M into W plus C in terms of Newton, I will keep it as the first equation. Now applying this law of machine for both the conditions, that is for condition 1 and 2, for first it would be P1 is equal to M into W1 plus c putting the values p1 is 50 and w1 is 500 that is the second equation similarly i will use this law of machine for the second condition p2 is m into w2 plus c so therefore p2 is 60 w2 is 750 Now by looking into equation 2 and 3 we can see there are two unknowns which are m and c and then there are two equations so it can be solved simultaneously easily into the calci. So solving equations 2 and 3 simultaneously and with that I will get the answers m value comes out to be 0 0.04 c is 30 now once m and c values are known we can get the new law of machine by putting that is put m and c in equation first so i am going to get the new law of machine and that will be the new law of machine p is equal to m 0.04 w plus c is 30 and that's the first answer that is the law of machine was asked so here we have formed the law of machine then they have also said that we have to find the maximum efficiency so for that first i'll write down since maximum mechanical advantage is given by it is 1 upon m where m is the slope in the law of machine and that slope is 0 0.04 so therefore the maximum mechanical advantage will be 25 now with that the maximum efficiency is given by the formula it is maximum mechanical advantage upon vr and how this formula of maximum mechanical advantage comes out to be 1 upon m for that you all can refer my previous video in which i had explained this formula and whose link i would be providing in the description below 
so you all can refer how to get this formula of maximum mechanical advantage now the maximum mechanical advantage is 25 and we are the velocity ratio given in the problem is 40 so from this the efficiency comes out to be 0 0.625 or 62.5 percent when we multiply with 100 so that's the second answer and also we can say that since this efficiency is greater than 50 percent the machine given in the problem is a reversible machine that is it is capable of doing the work in the reverse direction so that was a simple problem regarding the law of machine and maximum efficiency at the end if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.